for example, I went from living the American dream, stalking the shelves, traveling across the country, having my first apartment in San Diego, having a giant apartment of my own during the pandemic. Then I had my third and last apartment in Miami, Florida, to losing my job and losing everything. And now I'm back on night shift, and I have noticed that out of my six weeks of working here so far, we have seen so many coworkers leave. Like, we just had two people get hired like a few weeks ago, and just yesterday they already quit without saying anything. And all these people quitting or getting fired, the remaining work goes to the rest of us. So, basically we are working twice as hard, if not three times or more, and we're being paid pretty much the same. And because we're working overtime, we are being burnt out and we're still being paid the same as working at one person so if we're working twice as hard if not triple and we are still being paid the same and we're being burnt out and overworked and expect to do more and more work on top of that people leaving that's going to cause more and more people to quit for example when i was bartending in miami beach in 2021 after i got deactivated from instacart from customers accusing me of stealing their groceries because they wanted free stuff and everybody was acting strange that year. This was also the same year that people were leaving restaurants and bars during the pandemic. So when I started bartending, there was not enough staff to train me properly. Everyone is fast paced. It seems as if everybody there was on cocaine or other drugs because they expected you to work like five times as hard. And I wasn't paid enough to pay my rent in my studio apartment at 1425 at the time. After my third week working there, they said I wasn't quote unquote keeping up with the pace and let me go. Like they will train me some for 30 seconds worth of time and then they all run away when I need them or to check people up because I didn't have a POS number under my name at the time. And the thing is with all these bars and restaurants, they too put the work on the remaining staff and new people like me are not able to catch up because they just don't know how to train or treat people well like they used to. And that's why bars and restaurants alone are becoming a dying market because they can't keep the staff that they have or properly train them. When I finished bartending school and got my certificate passing with a 98%, I went to an arcade bar called The Main Event and it was already a dying activity. There was people going around saying that they weren't making money like they used to and they say they stopped scheduling people after three days because nobody sticks around. Uh, when I emailed saying I will stick around for like weekends and stuff like that, I had no response. After the third day, I was already taken off the schedule in the system. Basically did free labor again. Not paid for my time. And after that, I went in to go turn in my uniform. And my coworkers and managers literally ran up to me and like pushed me over to the office talking over to the manager like I was intimidating or that I was going to file a lawsuit, which... I could have and I should have went to the Department of Labor for basically doing free labor and not being paid for my time. Like, it took more time in the hiring process, which was like five days, to only work for three days for free. But I guess that's what companies do to cut corners. For example, when I was in Boston handing in my resume to bartending school and my long work history and experience at the bar, I handed in my resume to 30 different bars in Boston and 25 in the state of Maine. I had one in Portland, Maine, work for free at the beginning of January on two shifts, collected the tip money, which was like 10%, which was $30, for like six hours worth of my time on a Saturday night, which I could have made 180 for DoorDash instead. I was not paid for my wages when having a time clock. I had to go text and come up to them asking when I come in again. After the third time, they texted me saying, sorry, we're not busy enough, we'll call you back, keep you in interest. I went back there in May, when the summer was coming up and they hired new people and they said to me they would call me back, never did. Could have and should have sued for trying to away with free labor. It was the same thing in Boston. I landed in one place. They had me work for free on a six hour shift, never got paid for my time, never got a call to come back. And when I did bartend somewhere in Boston that was legit, they had me demoted after day two for not quote unquote catching up with this poor training. You literally keep hearing stories about how nobody wants to work. When I came and applied to all these places that are struggling to stay in business, they look at my resume and 
can see that I have switched jobs every few years or a few months at that and then they question everything I do and my response will be like hey okay if you want me to stay then get more competitive on how you pay and treat people because there's a bigger incentive to switching jobs every few years because they have a bigger pay scale when you switch and a promotion and a pay scale you weren't expecting versus staying loyal to a company and not get a promotion or get anywhere and treat it poorly and get half of a pay raise at someone who switches jobs every few years like me did. So the reason nobody wants to work and that all these businesses like restaurants and bars are not getting any help is because despite them not knowing how to treat or train people, after 2021 when the economy reopened, inflation was on the rise and at the time, no one can afford to live on 840, let alone $14 an hour. It wasn't a livable wage and most of the jobs out there weren't paying above ten dollars an hour and so they expect people to keep working with the same amount of unlivable pay and then are complaining on social media about how nobody wants to work like all these years ago we had fair wages we had time to spend wages we had money to live or rent our own places they had proper training they had proper education on jobs and stuff like that but it's just like what you see in third world countries. They throw you in without training or knowledge. And if you have a hard time keeping up, such as bartending, even when I went to school and studied more, if I didn't catch up because it was different or they just didn't train me enough, they just toss you and replace you within seconds. Like if I serve a great value in the company, sort of stocking the shelves overnight, and I'm working twice if not triple as hard and being paid the same like I explained earlier, and I don't get paid enough to have a place to live or enough to like make a living, then that causes people like me to quit as well because it's like communism. If we work all day and night and we don't get paid enough to make a living or pay our bills in that matter, then what is in it for us to continue working? And when you are working at these jobs, it's really degrading work. And on top of that, you have people uh, higher up like office workers who hate their jobs giving you a bunch of crap about what you do and kind of mock and make fun of you because you work at these jobs and they think they're better than everybody. That's definitely the reason we don't want to work anymore.